Hi everyone, I'm Sivana Spence and I'm here with more back to school tips. Books that you can use to motivate social emotional learning in your classroom. And today I'm here to talk to you, to share with you some great books that you can use in different times in your classroom. But specifically in my classroom, I would be utilizing these books during morning reading. There are different ones, as you can see, different titles. And each day is a short book easy to read you can actually motivate the kids you know to put the reader for the day for the morning reading and then we do a quick discussion with them i am unique they can be also a prompt for them to write in their writing journal what are you unique what's unique about you and you you write about it they write about it they discuss and share with their friends what's unique about them and it's also a get to know you activity that is really fun for kids to do so on Monday you can do I am unique. On Tuesday you can read I can share. You can pick another reader and you can do I can share. How can you share? What which different ways can you share? What things can you share? What things you cannot share as a person and you're not supposed to share and what are things that you're supposed to share? And you can use also an anchor chart and think of things I can share, things I should not share, things that are personal and things that are shared. Okay? So you can use that and that can also be a writing prompt for the day. I make good choices. In the very beginning of the year, we spent about um, two to three weeks or longer going over making good choices. suggestions of what are the good choices that they can make in the classroom, what are the good choices that you can make in the playground, what are the good choices that you can make when you are in the library, in different parts of the school. And you can combine the I can make good choices with I know the rules. So those go together. I can help. Usually I ask my friends and my my children and I tell them usually when before you helping ask how can I help I can help how can I help you Miss Pence you know and you share how you can that student can help you and I share with my kids how they can help you because sometimes they're trying to be helpful and they're doing something that is not so we want them to help we want them to be motivated to be active to be working to be helping so one reader read this book and everybody shares a way that they can contribute to their school community i am kind you want to make sure the kids are sharing lots of kindness with one another are being kind at all times i know it's hard to be kind at all times for some but this is the moment to teach this social emotional learning skill of kindness so they can carry on for their lives. So we read and we share different ways to show kindness towards one another. How can we be towards one another? What can you do to be kind? And we have this other series that it also adds to the Disney learning series, Pixar. I can be kind and you can read those little books in the social emotional learning library where kids can get and read each day. I can move. I can feel. I can be calm. This is a great one. So you can have a multi-sensory bin of things and strategies, fidget spinners or the squishy and things that kids can use these strategies to keep themselves calm. You can have a calm corner, like a cozy corner where they can just, you know, isolate themselves for a little bit, just take a break to breathe, to relax a little bit. If you don't want to have any specific corner, sometimes you can use the library if the library is not being used that time. But just give them suggestions of places that they can use in the classroom that is going to be okay to just go over there and relax and breathe for a little bit and come back. In here, we have a series that is called How to Be Friends With, and there's a no 
Bloom, Werewolf, Unicorn, and Mermaid. Is that me? You know, using these fictitious characters can be fun and also teach kids about differences, how we are different and how we can be friends with other kids that are different than you and teach them the kindness, the respect that all we all need to lead in community in the classroom. I hope you enjoyed this book haul and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.